In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate MailChimp with Squarespace. So Squarespace has beautiful newsletter blocks that you can use to add people to your email list. They allow you to add people to your email list when they fill out a form. But if you want those folks to go to your email list on MailChimp, there are a few things you need to do. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through that. Now, if you are a commerce user on Squarespace, if you have a store on your Squarespace website, I'm going to show you how to sync your commerce store with MailChimp as well. So in this video, we'll start off with syncing your commerce store on Squarespace with MailChimp. Then we'll create a newsletter pop-up that integrates with MailChimp. Then I'll show you how to get a form submission, that email to also go to your MailChimp audience, and finally, how to add a newsletter block to your website to get folks signed up for your email newsletter in MailChimp. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. If you have not downloaded my Squarespace pre-launch checklist, which is really more a course than a checklist, I'll drop a link below and you can grab it. It walks you through everything you need to do on your Squarespace website to get it set up just right. Now, before we jump in to how to do everything, I want you to make sure first you have a MailChimp account set up and ready to go. Audience is where we're going to be adding folks to your list so you can have one or more audiences. I have mine set up, I just have one and it's called main list. But if you have different freebies, different lead magnets that you're offering, you may have multiple audiences here that trigger different automations within MailChimp. So just make sure MailChimp is set up and ready to go with an audience list that we can add to in Squarespace. Next up, check your Squarespace hosting plan. If you set up your website in Squarespace before 2025, you probably have a plan that does not have one of these names. So those plans were personal, business, commerce, advanced commerce. Now we have basic core plus and advanced. So a little different, but if you are on the basic plan today, or if you are grandfathered in on the personal plan, know that you will have to upgrade to the core plan to be able to integrate MailChimp with your Squarespace website. Obviously, if you're on one of these higher plans, that will work too, but you need to at least be on the core plan. Or if you were signed up before 2025, the business plan or higher on Squarespace would allow you to integrate MailChimp. Okay, I am here in my scribe template for authors, and I want to show you how to integrate commerce with MailChimp. Now, there are two things we want to do with commerce. The first is on the Squarespace side, and the other is on the MailChimp side. So on the Squarespace side, we're going to add a join our mailing list field to our checkout page. Now to get there, we're going to go to settings and selling, and we're going to go to check out. Now, if this has moved on your website, if you're not seeing the cog icon here for settings, you can just hit the forward slash key and type in check out. And we're going to click the one here that says check out order number format newsletter sign up. This is the one we want. So it's gonna get us to that same place. Now, what we want to do is scroll down and we have email sign up toggled on by default here, but I'm going to customize these settings. And I want to connect MailChimp here. So you can see MailChimp, and I'm going to click connect. It is popping up a new window for me to log into MailChimp. Once I've done that, I'm going to allow that connection. And it's going to require me to select a list. Like I said, I just have one that I've called main list. And here you can require double opt-in. Now, depending on where you are in the world and who visits your website, this may be required. And it also helps reduce spam. So I'm going to toggle that on and click save. And now when you check out on my website, you're gonna have the option to add yourself to my email list. Now, what if I want to completely sync my commerce products, orders, and customer information to MailChimp, I can do that too. So to do that, I'm actually gonna go back to MailChimp 
go to integrations, look for Squarespace. You can ignore this Squarespace integration. You'll see it references Squarespace 6. We are many years, like decades past that. We're going to go to Squarespace Commerce here, and we're going to click Connect. So we're going to sign into the Squarespace account, review the data sync settings, and then MailChimp will bring in that Squarespace data. So if you sell products on Squarespace and you're using MailChimp for email marketing, definitely set up this connection. Now, once that is connected, you are all set. There's nothing else you need to do. Your commerce information will be automatically synced to MailChimp. So whether or not you are using e-commerce on your website, I'm going to show you three other places that you can get people on your email list on MailChimp. The next one that I wanna do is create a pop-up. So when someone visits my site, I want a pop-up to come up and encourage them to sign up for my newsletter. Now to create a pop-up, again, Squarespace moves their menus around, but today it's under pages and if you scroll all the way down, marketing tools, and then promotional pop-up. Now, if you're not seeing it there, we can use that same trick I taught you before, forward slash key on your keyboard, and just start typing in pop-up and choose promotional pop-up, great. So I'm gonna say display the pop-up. I can change the layout, change the content, timing and style here, but what I wanna show you is how to connect MailChimp and you do that under action. So let me just go ahead and say leave here. I'm gonna have to toggle on my pop-up again when I go back, but from here, we go to storage and you'll see connect other services. Click that, then click connect MailChimp. Again, a pop-up window is gonna come up and have you log in to MailChimp and then allow that connection. Once that's done, you have to, again, select that list and you can choose to require double opt-in after subscribing. I'm going to save this. Go back to my main menu. And then if you wanna turn on that pop-up, you do that here and hit save. Now, when someone submits their email address here, they're going to be added to MailChimp automatically. Now, this is a great place to offer a lead magnet if you have one, something that you're offering in exchange for somebody to join your email list. I have one called the Squarespace Pre-Launch Checklist. You may have a checklist, a mini course, um, anything that you feel your audience would like to have for free. And so they'll give you their email and then you can start including them on your email newsletters. All right, we've done the promotional pop-up. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is the form block. So let me go to the contact page where I have a form block already set up here. And I wanna show you something that you should not do first. So if we go into edit form fields and email, there is an email sign up option here that you can toggle on. However, this is only if you are using Squarespace campaigns. So don't toggle that on, even though it looks like something you might want to do. We're going to do this a little differently. We are going to go back, go into storage, and for additional storage, we are going to connect MailChimp. Now, again, I'm going to log into my MailChimp account and then authorize MailChimp to connect to Squarespace. Once that's done, we come back and we select our main list. We turn on double opt-in if you want, and then we can say exit this page, which saves that storage. And if you're not sure about it, it sometimes feels a little weird. We're just gonna go back and make sure it is connected to main list and it is. Now, a couple of caveats about using this form connection. Anybody who fills out this form is going to be added to your mailing list. Now they do have to do the double opt-in the way I've set it up, but you may not want everybody who fills out your form to get added, but if you do, this is the place to do it. Now, the other thing that you wanna keep in mind is that the audience that you're adding people to from the form should be a separate one from your regular audience. Now I did the same one because I was just showing you how to do it. But because there's other information getting mapped on, you're gonna wanna make sure that it is its own mailing list so it's not getting confused. So I would just call it in MailChimp, set up a new audience that is Squarespace form submission and add people there. Now, also anytime you edit any of these form blocks, you're going to have to connect a new audience in MailChimp because 
it's matched on perfectly. And if anything changes here, so if you add a phone number or date or any other kind of information on this form, it's going to cause problems with that connection. So just get this the way you want it before you connect MailChimp for the first time. And again, connect it to its own audience list inside MailChimp. All right, the last thing that I wanna show you, and this is probably the number one way people are using MailChimp with Squarespace is with a Squarespace newsletter block. So here in this template, I have a newsletter block in the footer and again, this can be a great way to offer a lead magnet to get somebody to sign up. But for my author template, a lot of authors are just starting with sign up with your email address and then later they're going to have a short story to send out for free, that kind of thing. But we're in a newsletter block in Squarespace. We're going to double click here. We're going to go to storage. And then unlike the pop-up block that I showed you earlier, Squarespace is usually already connected here as a storage option for your contacts that fill out this newsletter block. Now you can add this, it won't hurt anything. Um, they're going to be added to your contacts inside Squarespace, so it's kind of like a backup. But if you want to disconnect Squarespace, you certainly can. You can click disconnect here and it will disconnect Squarespace. Then we'll go to other storage options and connect MailChimp. Again, it's gonna ask me to log in and allow that connection between Squarespace and MailChimp. So once I have allowed that, we're going to come back here and again, a list must be selected and I'm going to choose to require that double opt-in. I'm going to go back, back. You can see it's connected here, MailChimp main list, and I'm going to exit. Now, it always bothers me a little bit that the save button doesn't show up here. So let's go back again check this. It is good. All right. We are set up to receive email addresses here in our newsletter block, and those will automatically go to MailChimp. So you can start emailing those people your newsletters, or you can set up an automation within MailChimp to create a welcome sequence to add them as well. If you are using MailChimp with Squarespace, drop a comment below and let me know. I'm really curious how many people are using one of these integrations. Let me know if you're using it for commerce, the pop-up, the newsletter, or the form. Really curious how you're using it. And if you are just getting started on your email marketing journey, I'll put a link here and I'll also drop one in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but it is a membership that I've been a part of for years and it's only $9 a month. So if you are struggling about what to write, how often to email your list, if you have questions about email marketing, this is where I go for all of that. Again, $9 a month, you get email templates every week, and it is a great way to make email marketing easier. And again, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>